Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about five reasons why you should learn Power Automate in 2023. If you enjoy Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, SharePoint, and Teams videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. And here's my intro. All right, so you want to start learning more about Power Automate. I have a couple reasons why you should. So the first reason is you're able to automate repetitive tasks. It's one of the main benefits of Power Automate. Let's say you need to produce a weekly report with data coming from multiple data sources. You have to map all the data together and send out this report weekly on a certain day at a certain time. So you're able to do this in Power Automate in a couple easy steps. There's a lot of guides out there. You can pull data from Excel. You can pull data from emails. You can pull data from SharePoint list. Power BI, you can pull data from all these sources and it just makes out your life a lot easier because you can, you can just set it up to run weekly and not have to worry about it. You know, you might forget it during the week. You might get caught up in other tasks. You're not able to produce the report, Well, you can pretty much automate the whole thing or most of it in Power Automate. Also, if you have to send out weekly emails, you're able to just automate it as well. Let's say you work in HR and you want to remind your employees to submit their timesheets on Friday and you do this every Friday, you're able to automate that in Power Automate as well. There's an easy send an email action and you can just tag whoever you want, send out the email and the whole department will get it. So the second reason you should learn more about Power Automate is you can integrate it with all the other apps. So Power Automate integrates with many other apps, including Office 365, Dynamics 365, SharePoint, uh, Outlook, Power Apps, Power BI, pretty much all the applications and services Microsoft offers has connectors and actions in Power Automate. So you can automate processes that span across multiple apps and it just makes your whole workflow more efficient. I like to use Power Apps, SharePoint, and Power Automate all together. Because in Power Apps, I'm able to have flows connect to Power Automate to check some data on the back end. Or if I need to create a report, I can just send information from Power Apps to Power Automate. And I can send information back to Power Apps if I need to. But usually I just create a CSV and I'll send that downloadable file from Power Automate back to Power Apps. So it just makes the whole platform easier. You can also do some stuff in Teams if you wanna do some automation in Teams, like send, send messages to your teammates every morning saying, hey, good morning, hope you guys have a good work day. You can do that. And uh, just makes automation pretty easy. So if you wanna integrate it with other Office apps, it's very easily able to. So the third reason you should learn about Power Automate is it's very customizable and there's a ton of workflows you can go ahead and check out. So I'm in Power Automate right now. I can click on the left-hand side and look at templates. It is all these available templates for your users to use. So if I want to save Gmail attachments to a Dropbox folder, it's all right there. You would just have to plug in the information you use and uh, the workflow is already created. So we'll just look a few, through a few more. You can send OneDrive files to email. Uh, you can do form processing. So you guys are big in Microsoft Forms, you're, there's a ton of Microsoft Form connectors. Pretty much you just want to get the results from your Microsoft Form, store them in a SharePoint list so you, you and other users can view them. You're able to do that in Power Automate and uh, it's very beneficial and you can do a lot with that. I've, I've done a lot of stuff with uh, companies using Microsoft Forms and um, users want to have that data collected somewhere for them to look at so sending that to a sharepoint list is very beneficial so another one is when an item in the sharepoint list is modified you're able to send an email so i've done a video about this if you want to check that out but when an item in the sharepoint list gets modified let's say a manager wants to get notified every time a user changes something you're able to set that up in power automate so it sends out an email every time a user goes in and changes something so you can just double check and it makes it very easily because if you didn't do that, you would have to go into the SharePoint list, uh, see the modified field then, and then sort it by the most recent. So that's how you would have to do it and just kind of tedious to do it that way when you can just send out an automated email every time an item gets modified. 
So the fourth reason you should learn about Power Automate is it improves collaboration among a team. When you work on Power Automate flows, you can actually invite other users to it. So in my remove blank rows flow, I'm able to add other users here. So let's say I wanted to add, uh, I, I believe Bob's a user. Let's say I wanted to work with Bob on a Power Automate flow. We can actually work together and collaborate together about automating something and if we just join a team's meeting we can just work on it together and go through it so it encourages collaboration among teams so you and let's say bob can set up a flow together that automatically sends an email to the team uh, when a new item is added to a sharepoint list and then you can learn and grow your power automate skills together so the fifth reason you should learn power automate is it's very easily learnable for nine developers so when you think of these processes in power automate about automation everything it could scare the end user because you kind of think it's more techy and kind of hard to get into it kind of scares a lot of people to think about it but it's designed for to be accessible for non-developers meaning you don't need a lot of technical skills to create flows so you can like create flows from temp templates all you would have to do is read this so if i just clicked on one of these forward emails to a channel it will connect my my permissions if i click on create teams to send to i would just click on my team so basketball team teams channel to send to i can do general and the address the email was sent to i would just plug in my email address go create and it's creating the flow right now but the flow is already created if i went and edit up here so when a new email arrives to my folder my outlook uh, it will go ahead and send that email in an adaptive card to my teams channel so it's very easily, you can just drag and drop a lot of these actions. Like I can drag and drop this anywhere on the screen. I can copy it. And then if I want to just paste it again, I can go ahead and paste it from using the, using the clipboard. The so learning power automate will help streamline your workflows, save time, reduce errors and improve collaboration with your team members. It's a very useful skill too as well. If you have it on your resume or you tell your boss you're learning more about Power Automate, they may even not know it, but once you start showing them what you can do in Power Automate, it'll make you very beneficial to the team and the company. So I highly recommend learning about more about Power Automate. And if you want to learn more about Power Automate, feel free to check out my channel because I post a lot of Power Automate videos as well as the other Microsoft application and services. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video about five reasons why you should learn power automate in 2023 if you enjoyed the video feel free to like comment and subscribe if you have any video ideas uh feel free to leave them in the comments because i read all the comments and i will catch you in the next video